Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to D3 Live, live and in living color. This is so awesome. Finally, finally, I have a chance to get to know you guys, to meet you guys, and talk to you guys in person. I'm not in person, but live. Whoa, this has been a long time coming, folks. I've tried to stream last week, but I had some issues, technical issues. Like I said, this is my first time doing a live stream, but hey, we're going to get through this together. Plus, I would like to thank you guys for watching me for the first time. Welcome, D3 fam. I get to talk to you guys live. This is going to be so awesome. But first, like, welcome, welcome, welcome. You know, this will help provide you guys an escape, you know, from the crazy election time, folks. Wow, this is nuts. So, provide you guys at least 30 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour away from all that madness. So, we're going to talk about nothing but Disney. How's that sound? All right, folks, with that being said, folks, let's get right to it. Like I said, welcome to my channel. And I'm pulling up my agenda right quick. Um, for those of you guys who are new here, who's this? Lori's here. Yes, yes, Douglas is here. It might be a delay. Sorry about the delay. I'm going to try to get to all your questions. Mallory, hello, hello, hello. Wow, wow, nice turnout so far. So if you guys are just tuning in, you know, welcome, welcome, welcome. You know, first D3 Live, I can't believe it, since I hit the thousand mark. This is going to be amazing for us to connect with you guys on such a personal level. Um, uh, first things first, a few of you guys have reached out to me and asked if there's a way, you know, if they had a Patreon account yet. The answer is no, not just yet, because I have to hit my uh, 4,000 uh, hour mark. But in the meantime, I do have a way, if you guys want to donate anything, I'll go, I'm I'm available to, for donations through uh, buymeacoffee.com. It's pretty cool. It's like buying me a coffee. It's fun. You know, it's voluntary, totally you like that. So if you want to do that, if you like my information and stuff like that, and like my past videos, hey, feel free. You can uh, donate at www.buymeacoffee.com backslash D3 plus. Again, that's www.buymeacoffee.com backslash D3 plus. So... Hey, that's out the way right there. So, hey, if you guys want to do it, great. We already have some people who already signed up. I'd like to thank the, um, the Morris family, who's really been, thank, thank you for doing that for me. I, that's just awesome right there. So, I think it's anywhere from $1 to $3 a cup of coffee. Like a regular cup of coffee. It's all in fun and games. You know, so. But, anyway. Oh, I, I'm looking at some of you guys right now. I'm going to get part to your questions in a second. <clears throat> but, uh, let's look. Next on my list, hey, if you guys missed out, right quick, get you guys updated. If you guys didn't check out the um, Facebook, I posted last week. Also on the community page, I posted that I'll be going to Disney World next month on December 13th through the 19th, folks. Yes, since Disneyland is still closed, unfortunately, we're going to talk about that in a second. I am going to Disney World, which is amazing. So, but yeah. It's going to be awesome. I think I'm doing uh, Magic Kingdom on Monday. Uh, I'm doing uh, Epcot on a Tuesday. Then I'm doing Animal Kingdom on a Wednesday. I have an off day on Thursday. Then I'm finishing my trip with um, Hollywood Studios on Friday. So that's going to be really cool right there. So I'm going to get back to you guys. I had, If you guys saw the poll back on the community page, I asked you, should I go, to, you know, venture out and do another park or something like that? We'll talk about that in a second as well. So let me see. Let me look at the list, the live chat right here. Wow, we got a big crowd here. Hello, 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 everybody. I see Lori, Douglas, Scrabble, Gabriel. Yes. All right. Let's look at some questions right here. Gabriel wants to know, hi, when Disneyland will be reopened? Gabriel, I don't know, man. I do not know when Disneyland will be open, reopened. So... The latest I've known right now, you know, there's a list of like eight California mayors that went to the governor demanding, you know, the current guidelines are not really cool. So the latest on that there, because right now they say with the current guidelines, Disneyland might not open within a year, which is nuts. So I'm pretty sure, you know, they're going to probably revise that. And hopefully my educated guess, I'm thinking closer to the springtime, to be honest with you, like March, which will probably be like a year out. You know, so I'd be just not a year out, but I'd be approximately been close for a year, which is still nuts. So hopefully it'll be sooner than later. You know, I was hoping to get there 
the holiday season for the Christmas season. But hey, at least we have Buena Vista Street opening up, which is rumored to be opening up next Wednesday. So that would be awesome to go check out Buena Vista Street, see all the Christmas decorations up and things like that. You know, so. But hey, hopefully answer your question right there. You know, hopefully soon I miss me some Disneyland. And hopefully, you know, they'll talk about us pass holders. That's another people group of people who's left up in the cold right now. They ain't your pass holders. You know, so we don't know how that's gonna work out, you know, which is kind of interesting right now. So let's see. See Lori missing my home park. Yes. Yes, Disneyland is my home park too. Oh, I just miss riding Space Mountain, all the classes, the Matterhorn, all the stuff. If I cannot wait to it, just Candace opens, people. That's gonna be open pretty soon, you know. So, but yeah, yeah, I cannot wait to Avengers Cat opens reopen opens up. Luby Bear, hello, hello. Give you a shout out. How you doing? Uh, yeah. Douglas, you know, you know how I feel about that, you know. It's a crazy situation with the COVID stuff. You know, I'm looking at both sides of the story. Yes, it's a little bit harsh, but at the same time, hey, we don't know how this thing is going to go. So, uh, I don't think it'll come to a lawsuit, personally, but yes, they need to get it open. You know, they're proving they've been able to run the parks in Florida pretty efficiently. But yeah, so hopefully we'll get that taken care of soon. Uh, let's see. Glory says, death will have, have their... Oh, okay, you talk about the Mickey Fun Wheel. Oh, they have it on. Huh, interesting. Hey, let you know they're getting, they're getting closer and they're testing all the lights and stuff out. You know, so KP say be safe in Florida. Thank you very much, KP. You know, so, but let's see. Lori says Disneyland reopening in early 2021. I agree. I agree. 2021 that they will probably be reopening. So, but yeah, that's, that'll be... That would be great. You know, I'm thinking, like I said, March 2021, they'll be opening. Mallory, where will, we, will you be staying in? Is it, oh, will I be staying at Disneyland Hotel in Florida? Okay. Yes, I'm staying at uh, one of the neighborhood hotels on property. I think it's the Hilton. Um, it's right across from Disney Springs. I think the Hilton Palace or something like that at Disney Springs. So I did my research. It's really good hotel you know good reviews and things like that but yeah i'll be staying at on this trip but in the past i've stayed at um all stars resort which is a really cool resort and i think i stayed what's the one with the new orleans theme i can't think of it at the top of my head um i'll think about that someone knows the name of the uh, resort at disney world with the new orleans theme to it i stayed there back in 2017 or 2018 i can't remember uh, but yeah i'm looking forward to it you know, um, I got a car this time because I'm not sure how the uh, social distancing will be with the Disney Express. So I just got a car and just going to drive in to the uh, property and just, you know, drive around just to each park each day. Let's, let's take a look at some of these other. Let me pop this out real quick and see. Pop out chat. There we go. This is much better. No, I'll go back to the other one. It's th there we go. Okay. Um, ask you some more questions. Let's see what else you guys got for me. All right. Okay. Let's talk about. Yeah, you guys know about the uh, closures at Disneyland Paris. They closed last week. Hopefully, it'll be up. I think they said probably in time for Christmas. You know, so hopefully they'll get those parks back open pretty soon as well. But our concern is like Disneyland, of course. So, um, let's see. Uh, when when I go back to Walt Disney World, yes. I mean, how have you got? How many of you guys have actually been to Disney World? I mean, Disney World is like so cool. You know, it's like its own special city, which is amazing. I love that place. Um, here's my question to you guys. Like I posted on the community page, I have an off day on that Thursday, and I have a couple of options for you guys. I'm thinking about I might cheat on Disney, you know, and possibly venture over towards Universal. <laughs> I might do the Islands of Adventure if I did one of those parks. Because Universal Studios is eh, it's okay. It's not like Disneyland or not like that. 
but I'll probably go to the Islands of Adventure. I'll keep you guys posted on that and check that out. Manny, welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking about that. You guys think I should go to Islands of Adventure one day, maybe get some footage, you know, just see how that park is. Check out Harry Potter over there. Check out the uh, Haggard's uh, Coaster. Check out, see how uh, the new Jurassic Coaster is looking. You know, hey, let me know if you guys want me to do that. Check that park out for you guys. Or I can just stick to Disney. You know, there's plenty to do at the Disney Resort. I really want to check out to see how the Tron Coaster is coming along. That looks going to be so amazing. You know, and a new Guardians Coaster over at Epcot. How those progress on those attractions are going over there. I think those got pushed back to 2022, I believe, which kind of sucks, you know. But uh, but yeah, let's see. Let's look at some of these questions. Danny is in Boston Disney World. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Did I miss anybody else? I'm scrolling back up here real quick. But yeah, that's that right there. Um, let's look at something else. Okay, so how are you guys? How many of you guys are watching The Mandalorian? Man, that show is amazing. That's my show right now. My number one show on on Disney Plus right now. Mandalorian is awesome. What do you guys think about the last episode? If, I don't want to spoil anything if you guys haven't seen it yet. The uh, opener for season two. But it's really good, I think, in my opinion. So, but yeah. All right, favorite part. KP. Disneyland or DCA? There you go. Uh, I'm always a nostalgic for Disneyland, but you know I love me some DCA. DCA, I got, I gotta say, uh, has a slight edge over Disneyland. You know, cause you know you can have to have the adult drinks and things like that. It's more laid back and a little more chill. You know, so I can just go over there, people watch all day. Plus, they got the food and wine festival over there. You just eat my heart content. You know, so. I would say DCA has a slight edge right there. Plus, I've been to Disney, uh, DCA, I think the last two years for New Year's Eve, which is way better than Disneyland, in my opinion, for New Year's Eve, because they have all the cool um, DJs going and everything like that. They have an amazing firework and water projection show when New Year's, when the um, strikes midnight. It's awesome. So. I might post that video later on this year since we're not going to have any uh, we're not going to have any New Year stuff at Disneyland unfortunately this year if you guys know. Same thing at Disney World. They're not doing anything special for New Year's Eve. I believe the parks are closing at 7pm which is like wow you know so but yeah good stuff. Let's look at some of these other questions uh, Manny okay ever considered going to Tokyo Disney or Togi? Yes, 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 sir. That's on my to-do list. Thanks for asking that question. Um, my goal, D3 fam, is to visit all 12 Disney resorts, Disney parks around the world. I've already been to six of them. Of course, I've been to Disneyland, and I've been to DCA, and I've been to um, the four parks in Orlando at Disney World. So. I would say yes, Tokyo Disney or Disneyland Sea, Tokyo Disney Sea is definitely at the top of the list. From what I understand, Disneyland Tokyo Sea is the best park, beautiful, most beautiful park. So I've done enough research, I've done the math. The tickets over at Tokyo Disney are pretty cheap. I think they're about $75, $80 US. But getting over there is a whole different story. I believe the flights over there are a little pricey, at least $5,000. So. That's the thing. If I wanted to do, if I wanted to go to uh, Tokyo Disney, I would say realistically this is 2020. I probably could do it in maybe two, three years. You know, unless they hit the lottery or something like that. So, but uh, yeah, that's definitely on the list. Um, I would love to also go to Disneyland Paris. You know, that's probably more realistic. Probably first international park I probably go visit first. You know, again, the tickets are cheaper and the flights are a little bit more reasonable. Um, I can see that doing the foreseeable future, probably 2022. You know, so, 
especially right there, Big Thunder Mountain, which is I've heard is the best version of Big Thunder Mountain Railroad out of all the Disney parks. It's insane. It goes underwater, people. It's cool. Um, let's see. Yes, I'll take yeah, I'll take you guys with me. <laughs> I'll take you guys all with me. You know, so it'd be fun. Be a fun trip. Just going back through the questions, see if I covered everybody. You know, Sheila. Hey. How are you? Um Okay. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Oh, another question. I will visit Paris first too. Yes, the castle is amazing. And you know they have that dragon inside of the castle too, which is pretty insane. So but yeah, I would love to go to Paris too, you know, just the culture, which is cool. I heard Paris is only is like a two day park. You know, so I'll probably do like all the other national land parks, of course. And probably spend like two days at Disney. That's it. Cause I think you do Disneyland over there in one day. And I guess they're MGM Studios or their version of Hollywood Studios is like very small. It's like the smallest park that could be done in like in a half a day. But they got the Star Wars opening up in, I think, a couple of years. So we'll see. We'll see. It might be a two-day park. There's a couple of attractions I would like to try over there too. I will say over in um, yeah, they have Ratatouille, the Ratatouille, and the Ratatouille is coming to Disney World. Hopefully that will be open. There's a rumor that it might be open next month over at Disney World, over at Epcot. But but I'm thinking it's going to probably be like the, um, closer to like January or February of 2021. You know, so, but uh, yeah. But yeah, uh, Paris, that will be great. They had a base, I heard they have the base, uh, they have the best space mountain, you know, so try that out as well. Walt Disney Studios, there you go. Thanks, Lori. Um, yeah. Then I said all of the other parks, I definitely want to make it over to Shanghai Disney. Yes. Shanghai Disney would probably be the bucket list, the one I want to go visit the most visit the most. In particular, um, we're probably gonna have Tron here before I get a chance to go over to Shanghai. But I really want to ride the original Tron coaster. Um also I would like to try out their experience their Pirates of the Caribbean. Which is amazing. If you guys have not seen the Shanghai Disney version of the Pirates of the Caribbean, do yourself a favor and check out the video on YouTube. It's nuts. I've heard stories about that ride. I've heard it taking water from each of the other Pirates of the Caribbean rides around the world and use that water. All those waters, all those waters are in that attraction right there, which is insane right there. So, really cool stuff right there. Let's see. Let's go back to some of these questions. Uh, that Justin Skier went off. What's that? Went to Disney. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying right there. That's cool. All right. Yeah, Tim the Tracker. I like. I follow Tim the Tracker. He's in the Florida. Hopefully, I get to run into some of these YouTubers now who moved to Florida recently out there. And that'd be cool to run and to chat to some of these YouTubers. I've, I've, I've had a few good experiences. I ran into, uh, if you guys follow Fresh Bank, he's with David, David from Fresh Bank. is really cool. You know, I'll see him at uh, Downtown Disney frequently. You know, we chatted up sometimes. Um, a few other people who are really cool, approachable. That's one thing about YouTubers. They're really approachable. You know, we're like, hey, we're just regular people. We all love Disneyland. So, really good stuff right there. All right, KP. KP. First neck I'm going to get when I get to Florida. Hmm. There are so many things I want to try when I get there. Okay, I'm going to go from park to park. I would say Magic Kingdom. I'm going to try to hit up one of the giant Doe Whip floats over at Magic Kingdom. And um, I forgot the name of the restaurant. I think it's called Sleepy Hollow. They have this awesome, amazing um waffle chicken and waffle sandwich or something like that no chicken and waffle taco it's awesome it's like this giant waffle with this like uh fried chicken breast in it with syrup and coleslaw oh my gosh i think that's the best thing over at magic kingdom everything else is like just eh, you know just average but i'll, I'll probably try that over at uh magic kingdom 
Epcot, I'll just eat everything at Epcot. Epcot, I'll just hit the World Showcase and just just go to town. I love the fish and chips over at World Showcase over at Bussy. I guess in the UK section. Um, plus, guess what? I found out I think they're having their food festival, food and wine festival when I, by the time I go to Epcot. So, hey, I'm going to do that. That's going to be amazing as well. Animal Kingdom, I would say I'll probably hit up Yak and Yeti. That's a good Asian food uh, restaurant. I'll do that. Yak and Yeti. Uh, Hollywood Studios. I'll probably go to the uh, 50s Prime in the uh, 50s 50s Prime Time Cafe, which is amazing, folks. If you guys been to Hollywood Studios, you gotta try the 50s Prime Time Cafe. It's nuts. Very fun environment, especially the. Uh, let's see, it's the, they have this uh, peanut butter and jelly milkshake. It sounds weird, but it's so delicious. Get that? You gotta try it. All right, let's go back to some of these questions. Um, Prince. Okay, let's see, Mallory. Prince Dev goes to Disney World too. Yes, yes, yes. That's one person I want to try to hit up. Prince uh, Prince Dev. Prince Charming Dev. Prince Charming Dev. You know, so I think I've reached out to him once or twice. He said hello. So they, he'll, they're out there frequently. So I hope that'll be really cool to run into um, Prince Charming Dev out there. He's really cool. So um, he's pretty big out there too. You know, he hits all the theme parks up out there. So, um, but yeah. See Lori, Tower of Terror, yes, Tower of Terror. Okay, folks, I'll put this to rest. Uh, the best version of Tower of Terror is at Disney World at Hollywood Studios. That's the original Tower of Terror. The one we had out here in California sucked. I'm sorry. Guardians of the Galaxy blows that away, but the original Tower Tower of Terror is the best version. You, that's the best. I gotta ride that. I'll probably ride that two or three times when I go to Florida to uh, Hollywood Studios. Also, rock and roller coaster. I'm um, gonna do that, especially with like you know the uh, the park capacity and everything like that. The reservations, you know. So I'll probably be able to destroy the park, ride those rides two or three times, hopefully. You know. So hey, let's see. Royal Bear. Royal Bear. Hey, hello, 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 hello. Let's see who else. Um, he has so many things I want to check out out there um, at all the parks. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna check out Disney Springs. You know, I'm gonna probably hit up the World of Coca Cola. Have a uh, do a probably drink around not drink around the world, but uh, have a Coke float from around the world or something like that. You know, I think one thing I'm gonna miss is like the uh, Club Cool over at Epcot. I mean, that's temporary clothes for the renovation, you know, so that's one thing I'll miss at Epcot, but yeah, that's probably the only thing I'll probably miss over at Epcot. Everything else, you know, pretty standard, you know, so. Oh, that's right. Lori, thanks for mentioning that. Mickey and Minnie's, run Mickey's Runaway Railroad. I cannot wait to ride that attraction. I heard, I've heard so many good things about that attraction, the Mickey's Runaway Railroad over at um, Hollywood Studios. Uh, here's my question to you guys: Would you like? Would you guys like me to do like some point of view ride experiences? I was thinking about doing that, like for for like you know Mickey's Runaway Railroad. That'll be one. Um, I might do a ride experience for Rise of the Resistance. You know, I've already did a couple of them. I've done an on ride experience for Slinky Dog. You can look that up on. I think I did it last year. I did. You can check out one of my videos, my Disney World videos on the channel. So look at the Slinky Dog roller coaster. It's at night. It's really cool. The fireworks are going off in the background. It's cool. Um, let's see what else. What else? What else? Catching up with some of these questions right here. We got a good turnout here. Thanks for joining everybody. Thanks for joining me. Uh, but yeah. Other than that, let's see. Let's look at let, just check out my list right here. Make sure I'm Disneyland Runaway Railroad. Yeah, 2023. Correct. 2023. Um, it's coming along really nicely too. They they've gone vertical. You know, they're going vertical. They start to build like the actual building portion, the showroom portion of it behind Toontown. So 
it's gonna be opening time probably for the 30th anniversary of Toontown, which is insane. I can't believe it's been 30 years since Toontown opened at Disneyland. So that'll be a cool addition right there for Disneyland, along with uh, Avengers Campus, which I'm dying for that to open once they go. So, but yeah, let's see. Yeah, Mickey's Toontown opens in 2023. Yep, correct, Lori. It was in 2023. Um, but how many of you guys have been to uh, Downtown Disney lately? You know, have you guys had a wait in line, long periods? Like I told you guys, a secret to go to get into getting to Downtown Disney is like just going on to the harbor entrance. It's like five minute wait, you walk right in. You know, so I don't know why people still park over at the uh, Simba lot and waste their time. 45 minutes to an hour to get in while I can just park over across the street at Anaheim Garden Walk and just pay like $8. I think they may start charging now since they're going to be opening it up um, Brenda Vista Street. They may start charging for parking now. They may open up Mickey and Friends Parking Structure. That's like 25 bucks, You know, so I say, hey, the Anaheim Garden Walk is the best way to go if you want to find a good alternative for having about $9, $15. You know, so... Man, you say you're going on money. Yes. Go check it out, man. I want to see, well, what are you guys' favorite places to eat at Downtown Disney? You guys have, or what are your favorite places to eat at Disneyland? Because, you know, my favorite place, of course, at Disneyland is the Plaza Inn. The fried chicken. Yes, indeed. That's the best chicken I've had at a theme park. You know, by the way, Disney, Disneyland has the best hands down has the best food out of all the theme parks I've been to, Disney theme parks I've been to. I think, let's see, hold on one second, let me get some water. Yeah. Disneyland has the best, out of all the theme parks, Disney theme parks, Disneyland has the best water. I mean, best water. <laughs> best water, too. The best food. Uh, California Adventure is good, too, but out of Disney World, I'll say the best food at Disney World is, of course, I think Epcot has the best food, hands down. You know, Magic Kingdom is okay. You know, then I would say second would be Hollywood Studios. The Animal Kingdom will probably be third. So, but yeah. Lord said Earl Sandwich. Yeah, Earl Sandwich is very good. Very, very good. You know, I did a video on Earl Sandwich. I'm gonna try next time I try I'm gonna try their like their Thanksgiving sandwich. Their, their Thanksgiving holiday sandwich or something like that. I'll probably try that. I heard that's a very good sandwich. One of their signature sandwiches. I think I had it before. I think one of my friends one of my friends at the time. Let me try it. Really good sandwich. It's like tasting like Christmas in your Christmas in your mouth, they said. So see Royal Bear. Uh okay. Royal Bear says downtown Disney is really packed. Surprisingly City Walk is empty. It's at night and day. It's Disney, you know. City Walk is just okay. It's something about Disney. It's just that magic, you know. And I'm trying to. I'm not trying to bash Universal or nothing like that. That's a cool place as, as well. But just something about the Disney atmosphere, the cast members, all that stuff, you know. Just it just feels like home, <laughs> you know. That's why I'm there almost like every other weekend, you know. Especially now doing a COVID and all that stuff, you know, things are starting to open back up, but hey, the closest I can get to Disney, you know, downtown Disney now, then it'll be like Point of Business Street. Hey, I'm there. You know, plus the Christmas stuff would be up pretty, it's already up. You know, I'm planning to get some content for you guys pretty soon about that. I might have that on, up next week in a week or sometime like that, so. But, yeah. Um, yeah, Universal, Universal, they're trying to come back. I guess their Nintendo World's opening up in, in a year or two, so we'll see how that's going to go. Let's see, Lori says Super Nintendo, Super Mario Land is coming soon. Yes, just thinking about that, Super Mario Land is coming here. Yeah, it'll be opened up here first, Universal Studio Hollywood. That's going to be interesting, you know. I've heard the, the one over in Japan. I've seen the images of the universe, of the... Uh, Super Mario Land over in Tokyo, Universal Tokyo. It looks insane, folks. It looks insane. So, hopefully they bring that same magic back to the one here 
at Universal Hollywood. That'd be cool. If so, I might have to go take a make a visit to Universal Studios and check that out. You know, <laughs> you know, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, yeah. But I might, I might do that one of these days. Go back over there and just check them out. But hey, cause right now it's, it's Disney for me right now, so that's that's my jam. But let's see what else, what else, what else. Any more questions? 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 I'm just going back through this list. Make sure the castle. Yeah, the castle was beautiful over in Paris. I got that already. Um, but yeah, that's that's that. Um, but yeah, as far as Disney World, I can't wait for that. That's gonna be so much fun. The weather's gonna be perfect. Thankfully, it's not gonna it's not gonna be a million degrees. In December, like it is in July, which is the worst time to go to Disney World, by the way. Uh, I think I've been in June and July. In September, September is craziest hurricane season, of course, but it's not as bad as July. The weather's more tolerable. It's like, I would say September, it's like 100 degrees with 80% humidity, which is still terrible, but much better than July when it's like 110. It's just, Dead, especially with the mask, you know. So I'm prepared. I'm, I'm going. I'm particularly going in December. Chose to go in December because it's not as hot. I'll check. I think it's like, for what I understand, it's like in the 70s and 80s, which is more tolerable. So I wouldn't mind. You know, I'll be just fine. So, but yeah, that's that. Well, yeah. So what about the? Let's see. What else can we talk about? I cover all the bases. Let's see. Going through my list real quick. Post bear with me. Park news. Yep. Um, Disneyland closure. Yep. COVID. Yep. Talked about that. But yeah. Any more questions, you guys? You guys, any more questions? I'll probably go about like another 15 minutes or so like that. I got a little bit more time on my hands. It's great to chat with you guys. I can't believe I'm finally able to chat with you guys. This is awesome. You know, have a nice turnout here. We got. Let's see how many people we got here today. We got one, two, three. Wow, nice turnout. Thanks for thanks for joining. Got 15, 14, 15 people. Cool, cool, awesome. You know, if you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. You know, great stuff. I try to put stuff up here weekly. You know, my crazy schedule. I try to do a, go put keep you guys informed on, on the latest Disney news and things like that. It seems like things are like happening like once a week now so the last couple of weeks things were wrapping up you have things coming multiple reports multiple days but now it's kind of slow and steady it's easier to keep up easy to keep up with so hopefully i'll try to keep up with you guys and for one if like there's some late breaking news of the parks opening up sooner which you know i doubt but that would be great we have an early christmas gift that the parks open up in december but yeah it's just wishful thinking right there folks if anything, in January. So, but like I said, my original statement, March is more realistic, you know. So, but let's go back down this list and see. Did I miss anybody? Oh, everybody saying hi to each other. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, okay, Ryan. Hey, what's up, Ryan? Uh, I saw the red trolley. Yes, they showed up at DCA. That'll be, that'll be interesting to see how the red trolley plays a role over at uh, DCA right now, you know, since the point of Vista Street's gonna be open and with crowd control and stuff like that, I don't know if it's gonna be running back and forth. I'm thinking they're gonna probably just use it for like, you know, character photo ops or something like that, or have Mickey and his friends rolling around on a trolley, you know, greeting everybody, you know, so like a little mini show or something like that. That'll be interesting. It might be just stationary, you know, they may have a stationary probably um, probably back towards, you know, um, the main plaza or something like that, you know, where's more room. I doubt it's, but right now it's sitting near the front of the park, you know, entrance of DCA, but I'm sure they're gonna probably move it back further back to have more space, you know, so, but, but I'm just happy to open more DCA up, you know, we could get a chance to, what's that, the, um, uh, I think Grizzly Peak is gonna be open, you know, walk around there possibly. Get some photo ops right there, you know. Um, yeah, the uh, smoke jumper is gonna be open. 
But I heard that's all gonna be a mobile order. I heard they may have just like a limited menu too. So have a Coke and Jack Slurpee or something like that. You know, but uh, that'll be fun. But most of all, folks, I cannot have a ch wait to have a churro. I've been dying for a churro from inside the park. So that'll be a little closer, getting back close to normalcy right there. But it'd be really cool just to, uh, just to get back inside one of the parks. But I'm hoping that they will open up Main Street. If they are able to open up Main Street at Disneyland, it's over. You know, so I'm right now I think it's like there's no extra fee for Renovation Street, but trust me, if they open up Main Street, I'm sure they're gonna probably have some kind of fee or something like that to get in. That's just too much Disney right there. Cause you're gonna have access to Main Street and you're walking down Main Street, take photo ops at the castle, you know, it'll be nuts, you know. So get a corn dog, of course. But hey, wait and see. Hopefully that might be another announcement coming in soon. Main Street might be coming maybe later on in December. <laughs> but it's for thinking right there. So let's see. See, Ryan says, yeah. It makes sense to put characters. Yeah, it makes sense to put characters on the trolley. You know, get some nice um selfie photos and things like that. You know, so but yeah, okay, here's another question for you guys, you know, with all the layoffs, unfortunately all the layoffs. What do you guys think about the Frozen show going away? Here's my th theory about the Frozen show. It's sad. It's a decent show. It's a people eater. You know, you, you know that, seat, that theater seats, what, a couple of hundred people at a time? Here's my theory about the Frozen live show. I, my theory is they're going to eventually, when things start to pick back up again for Disney, which I think will probably pick back up in 2022, um, I think the Frozen show will go from California Adventure over towards where they had the magical map out over in Fantasyland at the Fantasyland Theater. They'll probably put the Frozen show over there. You know, here's my theory right there. I think what well, they were probably replaced in that theater where the Frozen show used to be at. They were probably place a new Marvel show. I think they have a Marvel show over at the Disneyland Paris, a live action stage show. They probably put that show over there at California Adventure, which will complete the um, Adventures Campus right there. There you go. It'll make the whole area complete. It won't be all uh, looking there. It wouldn't be out of place. So that whole area right there will be Adventures Campus, that whole extension right there. So that's my theory right there for that Frozen. But hopefully people get their jobs back, folks. You know, that's one thing. So sad, so many layoffs, you know. So I met some of these, many of these cast members. They are so cool, so approachable. They're like family. So hopefully get their job, you know, they come back sooner, be able to bring some more magic back to the parts. That'd be really cool. But like I said, you know, it'll, they'll get their jobs back eventually, but it'll probably be in a different form, probably in a different show. So to me, I always say, yeah, I think it may put a, yeah, Marvel show. I think they have like the Doctor Strange show as well. That's outdoors. But I think a live action show indoors would be pretty cool. It'll be pretty cool. And they still seeing we may still get that uh, the new state of the attraction with the uh, over at um, DCA with the Quinjet. Yeah, we may get that attraction still. That's probably be put, being pushed back. That might be pushed back to 2023 or 24 now. So I can't wait till that have that open. That'll be cool with them. It'd be so cool to have a attraction themed after Wakanda. That's gonna be awesome. Um. Oh, cool. Okay, great. Great news, Lori. Um, two, yeah, 200 cast members got called back. That's awesome. Yeah, I've heard that recently today that they got called back probably for Brain of Vesta Street. Great news right there. Um, let's see, scroll down. Uh, Ryan. Okay, go to Smart and Final. Oh, okay. Churros from Disneyland. Okay, that's a 25 a box. I have to be careful with those churros, man. I might get big as a house. I'm, I lost some weight. <laughs> I gotta be careful getting spy stuff at the store like that. Yeah, I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful with the sweets. I, I'll, I'll be like 300 pounds in no time. <laughs> but yeah, that's a good idea right there. You know, do that. I've already made, as you know, for treats like that, I've already made the um, home version of the uh, dough with float. That's fun. You know, so let's see. Ryan, 
My theory is that Fantasyland Theater will be demolished for Beauty and the Beast right Huh. Interesting concept right there. That's a good concept, Brian, for Fantasyland. Or a Frozen attraction. Let me put a Frozen attraction right there. Right there or where the old um, Autopia. We could talk about Autopia all day long, folks. Because I have my own theory about Tomorrowland. That's going to probably get scratched for a little... I think Tomorrowland might get redone maybe like close to the end of the decade now. So, I think Fantasyland might be next to Melissa get a remodel after um, Avengers Campus. So, but yeah. But yeah. I heard a Beauty and the Beast attraction might be cool. They may bring that over there. They have to put the space right there. So, that has a space right there. So, that will be awesome. See, like Royal Bear, a Wakanda attraction, being an attraction. Yes, that will be awesome, of course. <laughs> DC4, welcome. Churros are dangerous. Yes, they can be very dangerous. Very dangerous. Bob, hello. Bob Perot, hello. Um, who else is there? Okay, Brian. I wonder if a kind of theme is going to be difficult because the recent... Uh, yes. Um, no, the technology today... You know how they did Carrie Fisher for the Star Wars movie, you know, the CGI. They could bring anyone back to life, you know. They have so much footage. They have probably like, you know, someone similar body build, you know. I'm sure they probably fit Chad in there in some way, one way or the other. You know, that'll be a, that'll be awesome. This would be awesome. You know, so they have, you know, the mural is really great. The mural they have up there in downtown Disney is amazing, by the way. Uh, but yeah. Chad, but all, he's always the king. Let's see. Mallory, Tomorrowland is fun, but yes, it, I agree, Mallory. Tomorrowland desperately needs a facelift. I mean, it's 20 years past it. <laughs> but yeah, like with the current situation, like I said, just to say it's going to be pushed back probably, unfortunately, unless something else happens. You know, so it'd be cool to see, you know, my vote is like just gut everything, leave Space Mountain, and give us some kind of version of Tron, you know. So that would be cool. If they wanted to keep Autopia, make it go electric. Invest in, make it like a Tesla electric or something like that. But yeah, Tomorrowland desperately needs a makeover. Hey, bring back some of the old school attractions. That would be cool. Bring back the People Mover. Yes. The People Mover, if you're going to redo Tomorrowland at Disneyland, bringing back and rebuilding the People Mover is a definite must. Petition it. <laughs> All right. DC4. All right. You might have caught this already, but your opinion on a long, how long till Disneyland opens finally? I need, I need every schedule. Okay. Back to Disneyland. No problem. I could talk about Disneyland all day, all day long. Like I said, if you join late, I'm thinking Disneyland probably will reopen in the spring, probably March, you know, you know, with the new letter that the mayor sent to the governor. I think eight mayors, I think L.A., mayor of L.A., um, Anaheim, San Diego, all the, all the counties that have major theme parks in them, they sent the letter to Governor Newsom. Hopefully, you know, he'll change his mind and open up sooner, you know, because right now the tears like really hard. We're still in purple. <laughs> here in LA and for theme parks to get reopened have been yellow which is like forever so I don't want to get political and everything I like anything like that so I'm going to leave politics out of this but hey I would say let us open up in orange or yeah orange That's be if you let us open up in orange I can see January so but hey let's leave that out let's not talk about that anymore <laughs> But yeah, to answer your question, DC, I would say to, for Disneyland to be open fully, DC, um, I would say do not come in 2021. Don't come at all in 2021. If you want the full Disneyland experience, don't come in 2021. I would say aim for 2022. Because right, you may have a vaccine by the end of 2021. The parks might be at 50%. Fireworks it might be still an option. But I would say aim for 2022. If you want the full Disney experience, 
2022 is your best bet. If you don't mind, you know, if you've been to Disneyland before, if you don't mind certain closures, if you don't mind missing fireworks, come in 2021. Just keep in mind that you're not going to get the full Disneyland experience. You know, so, hey, that's my theory. Like, I'm, like I said, going to Disney World, I've been here three times in the last four years. <laughs> so, I know a lot of it's going to be closed. A lot of experience is going to be different, but I'm, I'm cool with that. So, but yeah, 20, if, like I said, DC, if you've been before, you just want to get your Disney fix, you want to come in 2021, fine. Just know you're not going to get the full Disney experience, but if you want the full Disney experience, 2022. That's my advice to you. All right. All right. Let's see. Ryan, 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 Ryan. I don't think the subs will be gone. Come back. Yes, the subs, that's like one of the original, that's like 60 years old, and it's like <laughs> a lot to make, keep maintenance on it. So that's a lot of space right there. You have three attractions that are attracting right there. You have the submarine, Neo, uh, Nemo, Finding Nemo submarines. You have the Autopia, and you have People Work right there, the tracks. You remove all of that stuff. That opens up a lot. That opens up a lot of land for a couple of attractions. I think if they, yeah, they open up a lot of land for Tomorrowland. So you got a lot of space right there. It'll be fun to see the concept. You know, um, let's see. I want to see which Imagineer will be in charge. Joe, Joe Rody. If you guys are an Imagineer fanatic like me, Joe Rody, Rody is my favorite Disney Imagineer. It'll be fun to see what he does with that area right there. So, if he gets the project. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Shannon. Love the People Mover. Yes, People Mover. They still have it in Orlando. They still have it at Magic Kingdom and in the, at Disney World. But it's under refurbishment. I'm going to miss it. That's going to suck. <laughs> but, uh, I miss the People Mover here at Disneyland. Such a great ride. You know, I love it, right? Hopefully they bring it back in every reincarnation whenever you do the area. So, yes, DC, 2020, yeah. You want the full thing, full experience. Um, Manny, here's an Odie Bagooty. Did the Mansion and Mexico Array make a brief return? Uh, yes, it did. It made a brief return prior to COVID. It made a brief return. Um, no, I'll take that back. I think it did make a brief return there. And what's the other new parade it just had? Um, uh, I couldn't name what's the latest parade they had over the other new, new lights and stuff like that. They added the they added the uh, incredible float to it. I can't think of the name the parade. Um, but yeah, they had it was the back for a short run at DCA. Let's see, let's move right on. Um, Ryan says, "Would you? What would you?" Put inside of the subs. I don't know about the subs. The subs, the submarine attraction. That's yeah, that's difficult. I don't know. Nemo's okay. They just put that together at the last minute. I don't know. That'd be a good challenge right there. That would be a good concept for the to rethink the subs. That's a good question. I have to come back to that. Magic happens. Thank you, Mallory. Magic happens parade. That was running over at DCA Manny. Magic Happens Parade over at DCA. That was a cool show. Um, no, not Magic Happens. Is it Magic Happens? That's at Disneyland. But yeah, Disneyland Magic Happens. One of those shows. I can't remember. Paint the Night. Paint the Night. I think that was Parade at DCA. But Magic Happens is a good parade too. That was running prior to the closure at Disneyland. So, <laughs> yeah, Paint the, okay, Paint the Night was at DCA. Magic Happens was at Disneyland. Okay, there we go. Paint the Night was at DCA shortly. Magic Happens was at Disneyland before COVID hit. There you go. We're straight now right there. All right. Um, all right, let's see. Ryan says, I read on my chat, Joe Rody was let go. Oh, really? Huh. Interesting. I have to read up on that too. Oh, that'd be crazy if he was like, oh. Joe Rody's a legend. But, yeah. Uh, let's see. 
Who else? Who else? Oh, okay. Josh and Jenna. It's a lot of cool people out in uh, Disney World. Cool uh, YouTubers. That's like YouTube heaven. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to go out there. Let's see. Aquatopia for Disney's. Oh, okay, Brian. That's a good concept right there for uh, the subs. Very good. Very good suggestion. That would be a good concept. Something original. I'm, you know, do something original. That's what I want. All right. So I'm going to go about 10 more minutes, people. 10 more minutes. This has been awesome. This has been awesome. Thank you guys for joining me. You know, this is amazing. This is so amazing. So, but anyway, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, uh, let's see. A few more questions in before I wrap it up. Um, uh, let's look at this real quick. All right, here we go, Brian. Brian, let's see. In the last, oh, okay. In the, oh, okay. In the last round of the four hundred million years. Oh, okay. Man, that's crazy. These cutoffs are hitting everybody. Wow. These layoffs, I should say. All right, let's see. All right, Mallory, what's my favorite area in Disneyland? Great question. All right. My favorite, I love Frontier Frontierland. That's a good area. Uh, I'll take that back. Uh, all of Disneyland, but I let me hang out in Frontierland or New Orleans Square. Those two. But, of course, recently it has been, hands down, hands down, Galaxy's Edge. Galaxy's Edge is like my go-to place now at Disneyland. I hang out there. Almost there. I could spend like all day at Galaxy's Edge. Just walking around, interacting with the characters, and things like that. Giving Kyle Ren a hard time. Talking back to the Stormtroopers. Which is insane. Which is hilarious. So, look. I love hanging out in Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. Galaxy's Edge is like number one. Then Frontierland would be like number two. Then New Orleans Square number three. Then there he is. Corey meets world. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, all right, Ethan, and um, let's see what says. Do you think it's possible that Disneyland doesn't? Oh, oh no, Disneyland will be open way before 2022. It'll be open in some form in 2020 next year, definitely 2021. It'll be open at least 25 percent next year. Yeah, it can't stay closed for two years. No. <laughs> No one, they would know. That would know. The whole area would be dead. The whole area around Disneyland would be just devastated if they closed that long. It's already hurting right now. It'll be just like a ghost town if they stay closed to 2022. So it would be definitely be open sometime next year. Hopefully sooner, you know, for the help of people in the surrounding areas right there. But I'll do one or two more questions, folks, then I'm going to close it out. Make sure I got everybody here. One more question. Got any more? All right. But yeah, folks, yeah, this has been an amazing chat, folks. Amazing chat. Um, I'll probably, I'll probably put something up for you guys next week. You know, I might be at Downtown Disney this weekend, or I might do another special video or something like that. I might put another poll up. You know, hey, you know, just let me know. Hit me up on the, on the channel or whatever. Like, if you guys have any ideas, like, Hey, Damien, talk about this topic or something like that. If I haven't covered already, hey, just name a topic and I give you guys a shout out. You know, so, but yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to keep it up for a rewatch for you guys. I'm going to keep this up for, be available for you guys to rewatch it for a while. So, it'll be great. If you guys missed it, you know, hey, like you guys had mentioned earlier, you know, you were interested in like, hey, you know, want to help out the channel? It's totally voluntary, folks. You know, I'm not that type of person. Like I said, I don't have a I don't have a um a Patreon account. I don't care about a Patreon account right now, but I'm not eligible number one till I hit four thousand viewer hours. But I have so many people asking me. I just went ahead and just opened up like uh it's fun. It's like it's similar to a Patreon. It's uh buy me a coffee. It's pretty cool. It's like buy me a coffee. It's like you just donate, you know, just like one dollar, two dollars, three dollars, just buy me a coffee if you like my content. You know, it's really cool. 
you get there, you go to buymeacoffee.com backslash D3 plus. That's buymeacoffee.com backslash D3 plus. You can become a follower on there, you know, be great, you know. But yeah, I'm being more active. I'm trying to get more active on, let's see, on Twitter. You know, I'm still new at Twitter. I'm going to try to be more active on that. And of course, I'm on Facebook. Then I'm going to be more active, of course, on Instagram. So I'm trying to do that. All right, folks, I'm about to wrap it up. Do we have any more questions? I'm about to wrap it up for you guys. Thanks, guys, for watching. This was insane. I enjoyed interacting with you guys. This is so fun. I might do this. Hey, if there's some more late-breaking Disney news, I might go live within 24 hours.